Gary Peffitt on pole at Adria. In qualifying for the penultimate DTM round of the season, the Briton claimed the eighth DTM pole of his career and maintained all his chances in the battle for the title. My aim is to do as, as well as I can in the last two races and um, so far we've, we've done well. On pole position here is, uh, is a perfect place to be. Peffert's fellow Mercedes-Benz driver and rival in the battle for the title, Bruno Spengler, also secures himself a good position for the race. He will be starting second. I'm pretty happy today of that performance, to be second on the grid, starting and inside. It's a very good starting position uh, to try and be first at the first corner. In an exciting shootout, Matthias Ekström was the best-placed Audi driver in the third position. Yeah, sure, I was a bit disappointed. I mean, I would like to be on pole position, no discussion. Uh, we have to be prepare ourselves now that we are tomorrow have a chance to be the quickest and fight for the win. For points leader Paul Di Resta qualifying at Adria was less successful. He will only be starting from sixth place on the grid. Um, it is what it is. I was a bit disappointed to start sixth. Um, but, you know, anything's still possible. I think the weather has to change quite a bit for tomorrow. So um, we have to be confident and hopefully the race car is a bit better than today. Disappointment for Timo Scheider. The Audi driver only started his final flying lap when the first session was already over, so that he had his time for second place disallowed. Well, a disappointing qualifying um, because if you are the, the, the level in the Audi crew to, uh, to be on the top, then it's a uh, yeah, more or less bad feeling to, to, uh, to have the problem straight away in Q1. And here the result of qualifying for the 10th DTM round at a glance. Peffert and Spengler are starting from the front row of the grid. Jamie Green and Mike Rockenfeller are in fourth and fifth place with their year-old cars. Alexandre Prima on 11th and Susie Storrad on 13th. Ralf Schumacher failed to make it beyond Q2, he will be starting from 14th place. Especially with a view to the three-way fight for the title, the starting grid position at Area promises quite some action.